Project 2.4 will use modern geophysical methods to resolve buried ore bodies, targeting improved life of mine planning. Drilling programs are often limited to taking a project to bankable feasibility. Deep geophysics can complement such by delineating deep undrilled extensions to ore bodies. The magnetotelluric, or MT method, measures changes in electrical resistivity of the Earth. Instruments are located on a grid, as shown, much wider than can be economically drilled. Sensors record the naturally emanating electrical and magnetic field. The figure shows an example of changes in the electrical and magnetic field with time. Images of the electrical resistivity of the ore body and thus improved resolution of its deep extent can be generated. However, MT alone has poor resolution. By conducting a seismic survey over the same area, we can also generate images of the seismic boundary reflections in the subsurface. Here, a two-dimensional seismic profile is shown. Seismic methods have high resolution. By combined processing of the data from the MT and seismic methods in a process known as joint inversion, the true extent of the ore body can be much better resolved than is possible using a single geophysical technique. In this instance, the joint inversion has shown the ore body to have a greater extent down dip beyond the extent of drilling to date. Such knowledge early in life of mine planning can prevent the need to move surface facilities located over deep extensions to ore bodies that are unknown from early drilling.